you know, let's say this is like a dollar store box of Reese's Pieces. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So today you guys, uh, I have a brand new subscription. What is it? It's not technically, I guess, a subscription. Well, no. How well-spoken and articulate can one human be? Today we have a new subscription-ish thing to the channel. Uh, I guess it does count as a subscription because it does reoccur mm, however often you want it to. But at the same time, it's not like super subscription-y because you can pick like how often you want it to happen. And if you don't want it to happen, it doesn't have to happen. You know? What I am blabbering on about is Wannable, which is another Stitch Fix-esque like style service. And honestly, it's not even like Stitch Fix-esque. It's basically exactly the same thing as Stitch Fix. It is a $20 styling service. So you pay them 20 bucks and then you get a stylist that goes in and picks out things for you. They send you the clothing items. You get to try them on. Pick out what you like and what you don't like and whatever you don't like, you can send back and whatever you do like. Ow. Do you get the styling fee off of it on Wannable? I don't know, do you? Okay. So yeah, just again, like Stitch Fix, you do get that $20 styling fee credited to whatever you want to keep. And you guys might be wondering, well, like you already get Stitch Fix and you're not very good at it. So why on earth would you do another styling service? And I don't really know. It's probably not the best idea, but I do think these are kind of fun and I've heard good things about Wannable, so I wanted to give it a try. Oh, that's my name. Can you guys see right there? It says style for Alexandria. That's me. <laughs> So special. This one had a pretty intensive styling quiz that I went through and it also said that they weren't going to send me anything that I didn't click that I either liked or loved. They wouldn't send me anything that I said I didn't like so that's good. I also left them a note that says permanent on my account kind of describing the things that I like. I said that I like pretty minimal simple kind of things not too many bright colors or patterns uh, but I do like to go out with my friends every now and then and you know put on a little something more like va va voom you know. I am a little bit nervous though about the money portion of this because the uh, price ranges that they gave me it was like either 25 or 50 was the, the very lowest you could go. But the high was like 150 per type of item. So they were like, slide this little bar here and tell us like where you would feel comfortable like paying for a shirt, how much? Between $50 and $150. And I was like, the bar doesn't go down past 50. Where's like the $12.99 option? So <laughs> I feel like a lot of these things are going to be fairly pricey, but uh, I'm excited to get into them. Before we get into the items themselves, I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of what I was hoping for, the styles that I was hoping to go for. So I said that I wanted things to be pretty simple, casual, minimal. I liked neutral colors or darks. I didn't want anything that was too covered in patterns or too brightly colored. I liked a high-waisted pant with like a cropped shirt look and I didn't want to show off my arms or anything. So just to give you an idea of the kind of style I was hoping to receive. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Two pair of jeans? Oh, that's soft. I like soft. All right, so the very first item in here is so soft. I love this already because of the, the, the texture is amazing. I want this on my skin. I want this on my body. Um, It is a very plain standard looking. And it's kind of like a cross between a long sleeve t-shirt and a sweatshirt. It's a little bit on the thicker side. There's like a fleecy kind of lined interior to it and oh my goodness it is so soft it's from the brand 78 and sunny oh like you know like a weather forecast um, i've never heard of that brand before but yeah this this feels really really nice the bottom of the shirt is like kind of in a scoop so it's not straight across and uh, yeah i could see myself wearing this like all the time around the house especially potentially a little bit of an interesting item to send you know as we're pretty firmly into spring and going into summer here in a little bit um but it's so soft all right, next up we have a pair of jeans. This is from KUT or Cut From The Cloth. They listened to me on my profile. I said, you know, me and my little millennial heart, we just love our tight skinny jeans. And uh, that is what they have given me. These are in a size eight, which I think that's my size right now. I don't really know. I had like four pounds of zucchini last night. So I don't know how well things are gonna fit me right now to be fully honest. We were bloating a little bit, um, but these look pretty cute. They are, what does that say? Oh, I broke. It. They are sustainable and eco-friendly. That's great. Super stretchy cotton blend. I love a stretch. They just have a flattering smooth fit and they do look like they are high-waisted. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. These are the High Rise Connie Fab Ab. I don't got those. Uh, ankle <laughs> skinny cut from the cloth jeans. I like the wash on them. They're not distressed or anything. I typically do like some, you know, distressing on the jean itself, but around the ankle there are some little, you know, like 
fluffy bits. Or, you know, as like any southern grandfather would say, have there been like raccoons gnawing at your ankles? Next year, it looks like we have a second pair of jeans. Honestly, when I first saw these inside of the box, I saw this black band and my first thought was, did they send me maternity jeans? I know I ate a lot of zucchini and I'm pretty bloated, but like actually they might be kind of nice and stretchy on the belly. So maybe <laughs> it would have been a good option. Why do they keep talking about abs? This one is the ab solution. Oh, like ab solution absolution high rise skinny jeans featuring slimming panels to construct mold and hold and boost your assets from the brand democracy but it's a really cute tag i like it these feel like a very thin jean the other ones felt like they had a bit more structure and like hold to them this one feels very very thin but there's a whole lot of stretch there are tiny little details of distressing just around the legs there's some around the pockets as well and those are where the southern grandpa or grandma um asks you if you have moths and needs to borrow some of their moth balls. They do look very high-waisted and also very very stretchy. That like belly band they got in there is doing a lot of work. These also have a raw hem but I, I'm not a big fan of this one. This one almost looks like it was just cut and then like forgot to be finished and not as purposeful. Um, And there also is a little slit in the side. For me and my style these are a bit a little, a little bit too blue. Um, They're just more colorful than I would like to go. The other ones were a bit more of like a light wash and I preferred that one but uh, yeah we'll give them a try. Okay I saw this and I didn't know if it was painted or like a jacket or what it was. Oh, it's a jacket. Okay, at first I thought it was like a pair of nifty orange pants. So this is a cute little jacket. I do like this color. I like the style as well. It's a little bit almost like a, it's like an army jacket, like a, like a safari coat, you know, like you go look at like kitties in the wilderness in this. This is from the brand Kinsey Jeans. It is in a size medium. Again, maybe an interesting choice for going into the warmer months here because it does feel like a pretty hefty, almost canvasy type jacket. I mean, I do like that it has pockets for like days though. Just glancing at it here, I'm counting at least five pockets, including this little cute um, like arm pocket. This is something I probably typically wouldn't choose for myself, but uh, we'll try it on. We'll give it a go. Oh, that's an interesting texture. Okay, the next thing I am seeing in here is in black and white and like very smallest amount of purple. Why does this also kind of remind me of a maternity shirt? Did I say that I was like having a child sometime soon? Because I certainly am not. Just, something about this just also reads a bit maternity. I did also tell them that I don't like to show off my arms and I don't like straps like this. So I'm not, I'm not really sure uh, why this is in here, but it's a little top. This one's definitely more springy, summery. It is a cute top. It's just definitely not what I expected to see in here after doing that pretty intensive style profile and actually telling them like the kind of things that I like. This is from the brand Week in Los Angeles and it is a size medium. I'm just, I'm just not very excited to try this on, unfortunately. Especially like look how pale I am right now. Look at the difference between my face and my arm. The next item we have in here looks to be another top or a dress. I'm honestly getting kind of curious now. Did they think that I was with child? Because the things that they're sending me. This just looks, I don't know, it just looks kind of like an older style and there's all this like extra foldy fabric like right over the belly area. It looks like a little pouch like able to expand for your growing infant. I also gave them my age range. Is it because I'm almost 30? Is it because I turned 30 this month? Do you think that I'm, I'm liking things that look like a little bit more mature? Because I don't. So far my favorite thing has been that sweatshirt shirt. It just looks kind of old to me. I don't know the length. I told them that I preferred like high-waisted pants with crop tops. I'd like things to be a bit more form-fitting, but so far none of, none of the things I have told them are really coming through in this box besides like maybe the high-waisted pant. But who knows, maybe it'll look fantastic once I try it on. It is also a bit more uh, vibrant and bright than the colors I asked them to include in the box, but um, we'll see. And then uh, finally, last but not least, we have this. Okay, so the uh, last thing we have in here, it's it's a dress. It is a dress. It does feel like it would be very soft and cozy. Um, maybe that's because it looks like a cross between an early 1900s men's sleeping shirt and uh, thermals that you wear under your snowsuit in the winter. I'll get you guys a little bit of a close-up there on the fabric of this dress. Just very long, Johnny, you know. Also, I think this just very light, pale, creamy yellow is just gonna look so good against my also very light pale creamy yellow skin. That's not gonna wash me out at all. Fairly certain. I also did tell them that I don't like the color yellow um but maybe they don't think this is yellow even though it's 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 pretty yellow to me. Oh it's in the color butter. Of course it is. 
that literally, that is the exact color. This is the color of butter. They are dead on. And it is a three, four sleeve V-neck button down dress in the size medium. I mean, like it's probably cute. It kind of has almost like a little bit of a skatery dress kind of skirt to it. All right, you guys. So I guess I'm gonna do the try on in here again, even though it like cuts off my head, but you guys don't need to see that anyway. We're more interested in the butter dress. Um, all I can say is ooh. I mean, it's just a sack. It's just an ill-fitting, pale-colored butter sack. There's a hole right there. It's gaping so much through here, but there's like so much fabric at the waist. It nips in at the rib cage, which I don't know for most people, but my rib cage is not the smallest part of my body. It's actually pretty big. My natural waist is here, but like, no, it's completely enveloped by this like long Johnny material. I feel like I should be roaming the halls at night to like a 1900s mansion with one of those little floppy hats and a candle on a plate. My name should be Ebenezer. It's just so unflattering on, like there are inches in between the fabric itself and my actual stomach but it just looks it just looks like a tent like a butter sack tent i the no absolutely not i gotta take this off all right you guys so uh technically it's a it's a different day i was so offended by the first dress that i just had to like take a break no actually that's not it at all uh, my fiance came home as i was filming and uh, we decided to watch ozarks instead of me doing productive things um but rin's here now so that makes it better i brought him along to judge all the clothing with me he is obviously very fashionable he has a tuxedo on all the time so here are a couple of pieces all put together and honestly like I just feel like I feel like I'm playing dress up in just somebody else's clothes like this feels so on me the jacket itself does feel very like nicely made constructed it has like a lot of nice stretch to it I'm fairly certain on my account I said that I wanted more like neutral colors and stuff I guess this kind of like rusty orange no this isn't neutral is it what's a neutral like brown right black <laughs> neutral this is this is definitely a pop of color this isn't very neutral this couldn't go with like a ton of things that I own <gasps> There's extra pockets! How many pockets does this thing have? I was gonna say one of my main critiques about this jacket is like the pockets are buttoned and you can't like, you'd have to put your hands in straight like this and have them unbuttoned. But they have little side pockets too! That brings the total to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets that I found so far. They're Kirby more secret ones. It does fit nicely through here, but honestly it's a little bit on like the baggier side, like through the shoulders and arms, which I'm not used to. But maybe if you wanted to put like a sweater or something under it, it gives it room for that. But like I said, it just really, it doesn't feel like me and I know the styling service is supposed to like help you get out of like your zone a little bit but I still want a style that I like just basically elevated and that's what I was looking for with the service and so far this jacket's not it. Also what is not it is the shirt underneath. So like holding it open like this with the jacket I'm not too offended by it um but I pretty much expressed just how much I don't really like to show off my arms like or these strappy kind of things and this is a very like army shirt um there's just a lot of arm happening so I'll go ahead and take off the jacket. Yeah it's just a whole lot of arm for me that I feel really out there and exposed this also has one of those like empire or ampere or I don't, I don't know whatever it's called um waistlines where it's like up here on your ribs and uh that personally for me has never been a style that looked fantastic it just adds a lot of extra volume here to like my middle section there's another spider in here oh no that one's big it's not for me it has a zipper which I thought was interesting I thought it would just kind of like slide over uh, in the back it's open and then it ties up here and it's you know it's fine it is fine I definitely feel even more uncomfortable in this and it's definitely something I would not choose to wear on my own. That brings us down to the jeans. These are honestly pretty comfortable jeans. I do typically like them to come up just a little smidgen higher so you can't see my belly button but I do like the length where they hit and I like that little like rough edge on them. They are just a fairly standard stretchy skinny jean high-waisted you know nothing really too crazy about them. It might be nice to have a pair of jeans that don't have any holes in them because these could be like my fancy jeans you know. Since almost all my other jeans are distressed these could be like the ones that I wear to do fancy things in. Okay, very excited to change. Not excited to get closer to the spider. Ew. Alrighty guys, so here are the next two pieces. We have this lovely, just billowy. Every part that could be billowy is billowy top. And then we have them with the very blue jeans. So I'm feeling quite American USA at the moment in these colors. Um, my very first thoughts about this top is like, oh, this looks like I purchased it on sale in the Mrs. section at Kohl's or like Chico's or something. Um, this to me is a very 
what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, is matronly a bad word? I don't know. There's just nothing to it really that gives you any shape, is doing much for anybody's figure. There's a lot of just excess material and it also has this elastic band at the bottom that makes it like round out to really just make it look like there is more here than there actually is, which I personally don't find very flattering. It is like a wrappy type top, but unfortunately it's not like a real wrap where you could tie it to give yourself like any type of shape. Oh, it is like an actual, whoops. <laughs> it's like an actual real wrap. So, I mean, I guess that's good for like wind flow, you know, or like sneaking in snacks at the movie. That would be a great movie theater snack pocket. You know, let's say this is like a dollar store box of Reese's Pieces. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They would never know. There's just no shape to it. It's just a square. Why is everything just a square? There's no darting or anything. Even if there is just like the tiniest amount of darting just to bring in the waist a little bit, that would at least give you like the appearance of a waist. It's a three quarter length sleeve with a bit of elastic to it. And then the bottom is like a high low kind of thing, which leads me to believe this is how the shirt is supposed to be worn. I mean, technically I could like tuck in the front or something just to give, I mean, that's, that's already so much better just to give it a little bit more interest and in shape to it. Uh, it helps elongate my legs a little bit. It makes this part not look so big, but overall, I mean, it's just pretty shapeless. It's not really exciting in any way, shape, or form. I mean, it is a really bright color, which again, I'm fairly certain I told them I didn't want red in my profile. I think I said no, like no red, please no. But here we are. Moving on to the pants. Um, This is something I also know that I told them I didn't like on my profile, which are these wide ankles. So the pants themselves are fitted. They are high-waisted, which is nice, but the ankle is like wide at the end. It's like a weird little like tiny flare. So I absolutely do not like these jeans. They're also just way too blue. Like for me, this is just too much blue. I feel like when jeans are this blue, sometimes it's hard to wear them with other things because they're, they're like, they're making a statement. They are a color on their own instead of just being like a pair of pants. They are now blue pants. However, I will say these are incredibly comfortable. That little like stretchy elastic band in the waist. Oh my goodness. Very, very comfortable. Um, I feel like I could do yoga in these things. So that's nice. They are a little bit too big for me. We have some like gaps happening back here, but I mean, they are cozy. They're comfortable. I just, I don't like the style whatsoever, which is kind of what you can say about most of the things I've tried on so far. All right. And the last item we have in here is just so soft. Oh, I love the softness. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so you know how I was saying like everything here is shapeless and baggy and not really exciting. Um, this is a kind of shapeless baggy oatmeal sweater and I'm in love. It isn't necessarily completely shapeless, you know, like it isn't a full box. There is a little bit of a cut there to give you a little bit of a waist. Um, it's just so soft that I don't really care what it looks like. There is a little tiny bit of interest on the bottom. It has like a little scoop in the front and a scoop in the back. It doesn't give me like full bum coverage. So um, if I did just wear it with leggings, like out in public, I'd want to make sure they're nice and thick. But that like fleece lining on the inside is just so soft and cozy. And uh, I personally kind of like the color. Does it wash me out a little bit? Sure. But am I so comfortable I don't care? Yes. All right, you guys, that was all the clothing items tried on. I might have been just like the tiniest bit harsh in my critiques of these clothing items, but I truly thought that I was gonna be able to get some like staple pieces, even if they were more expensive based on their like uh, price categories for my wardrobe, but that did not happen today. And what really got me is I feel like they kind of just went against everything I said that I wanted like in my portfolio, not my portfolio, my the thing where I told them what I wanted. I said that I wanted really neutral colors. I definitely said that I didn't want red. I said that I didn't want like the weird ankles that are on these pants. These blue ones that I've been wearing for like a minute and a half have already stretched out. I don't know. I understand that these style subscriptions are supposed to like get you out of your comfort zone a little bit, but I feel like it shouldn't get you out of like your entire zone of what you like in clothes. You know, like I was hoping it would elevate what I currently liked, um, but no, this is, this is for somebody that is not me, unfortunately. Maybe it'll get better like as I review these things on the website. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at some prices because I am very interested. I did accidentally sneak peek a couple of the prices on the tags because I were dangling there. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, Candace. They put a picture. She's right there. Candace, I'm so sorry. She was my stylist. I feel really bad now that I've seen her picture and I just like dogged on everything she said. I'm so sorry. We just now got to know each other. It's not your fault. Let's go ahead and get on. Oh no. This is $59. $59. I was figuring like $34.99. I thought like $35 bucks sounded pretty good. You know, it's basically just like a 
t-shirt, a like slightly thicker long sleeve t-shirt. The Connie High Rise Fab Ab Skinny in Bulbinella. I guess that's the color blue they are. Um, Size H are $89. Okay, so the three four sleeve v-neck button down dress in butter uh, is $64. Absolutely not. I would much rather buy $64 worth of bulk actual butter than have this dress. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Butter is good. The floral woven wrap blouse with elastic cuff in red is $58. The sleeveless floral v-neck top in bleak and wheat. Size medium six to eight is $54. It did have a zipper in it, so I guess that makes it a little bit like more fancy and maybe worth it, but I don't think it's worth it. I absolutely don't think it's worth $54. The Absolution High Rise Vintage Skinny Jean in blue, size eight are $78. Um, you know, a little bit cheaper than the $89 ones, but um, also they are currently stretching out on me as we speak. <laughs> I've worn these for no time and done very little activity in them and they are very stretched out already. And then finally, last but not least, we have the utility jacket in mineral red, size six to eight, which is $68. I guess like a jacket, like an outer piece like that, it does make more sense to pay more for it because you can wear it more, you know? You can throw that on top of several outfits multiple days in a row if you wanted to and just you know, use it as like a, a jacket. Um, $68 makes more sense than, you know, like $58 or $54 for just a top. <laughs> let, let, let me get you guys this total real fast. So the merchandise total before we take off the $20 styling fee and then if you buy everything you get like 20% off. The merchandise total comes to a grand figure of $470 for these seven items. $470. Nearly $500 for seven clothing items. Again, maybe that is a regular price that people are used to paying. I'm sure there are people out there used to paying much more or less clothes, but for me personally, that is quite a lot. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. If you keep five of them, then you get the 20% off discount. So you don't have to keep all seven. So if you keep five, the discount would be $94 off. So that brings your total down to $376. Plus if you take off the styling credit fee, which is $21.20, I guess with like tax. Oh, excuse me. But then you have to add on the sales tax, so uh, that adds $22.56, which brings your total to $377.36. So basically, that $20 styling fee is just like tax. Uh, so if I wanted to keep every single item that I tried on today, which I most certainly do not, grand total would be $377.96, which is a good amount of money. That's a lot of money. That is too much money, I think, for what we have received today, personally. That is just my personal opinion on it. Honestly, really the only thing that I even would consider keeping would be the shirt just because it's so soft. But even with my $20 off, this is still like a $40 t-shirt. Like that's a lot for just a long sleeve kind of soft t-shirt. But they get you because like I don't want to waste my 20 bucks that I spent on getting this box and I know that I could apply it to something. I guess I could get like the jeans that I kind of liked. But they're still basically $70 jeans, which I, I just don't pay $70 for jeans. So like that's <sighs> what a predicament. What do you guys think I should do? I still have a few days to return this. I do believe you only have five days to return it and then you can get a one-time extension of three days. So I really have to be like on top of this because these are too expensive for me to buy. Should I keep anything? Should I keep this shirt? Should I keep the jeans? Should I send it all back? Just let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I really need help on this one. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you don't mind. I'm in the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.